as I stand side by side with Facade, I have learned that I absolutely hate this guy. Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Mother 3 Blind. In the last episode, we defeated the Cactus Wolf, but more importantly, we uh, started Chapter 3. We are playing as a poor little monkey who can't really do anything for himself because Facade makes our decisions for us. And it's a very sad time. We really hate him, but unfortunately, we have come to the realization that, well, he's the strongest person we have on our side, and we have no choice but to rely on him for pretty much everything we do, which is really bad. And I feel so bad for this monkey, as I said in the last episode. In this episode, we're going to go in here. Get in, you. No, dude! The ominous music returns. And it never sounds good. What is this place? Got a bug spray. And it looks like we have bugs. The violent roach. Alright, uh, well, thank you, Facade, for doing that. I appreciate that. Well, that's a lot of experience, too. What's in here? Got an underground map. Well, look at this. I guess we can go ahead and fight some roaches, because, you know, even though we can't really do much for ourselves by ourselves, at least we can gain some experience, you know. And you didn't kill me, so that's good. Now you die, I will get some quality experience, and maybe gain a few levels. Oh, what is this place? Hey, stupid monkey, look here. Wait, wait, what did I do this time? This is a high-tech vehicle known as the Pork Bean. We're going to take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tazmilly. I take an incredibly, it'll take an incredibly long time to get there on foot, but with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of a nwehe. You get all that? If I say no, what happens to me? Use that ladder to get down there. Alright, well before we do any of that, I guess I'll just collect whatever is inside these gifts. An ancient banana. Okay, well you're gonna take that one from me this time? Visit a wonderful device called the Instant Revitalizing Machine. In only a few seconds, it'll fully revitalize you just like a good night's sleep. Under normal circumstances, it'd be wasted on a stupid monkey like you. But I give you special permission to use it for now. Well, thanks. I, 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 will, I will take that offer. I'm sure it'll heal off all the shock that I've endured. You're fully revitalized. Well, good. Because I don't know... Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey! All right, listen up. When you want to step to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. Good lord. You get all that? I'm really tempted to say no here, and I don't know what happens if I do. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what I thought would happen to. And you're just gonna tell me again. Okay. Yes, I get all that. Thanks. Then get in. Um, what if I don't? get in do I can I like actually get lost in both directions I don't think I want to I think I actually want to take the pork bean because I don't want to okay well I guess I couldn't go anywhere even if I wanted to at least in this direction but I think the game wants me to go inside so I guess I will just do that oh now okay this oh god the controls for this is really weird. Wow, and that's how you defeat all the enemies, I guess. You just bonk into them with the pork bean. This is different. Look how fast we're going. Like, this is so cool. And I am letting go of the control stick, and I'm still moving. It just moves on its own. Just gonna bonk all the enemies. I wonder how strong these enemies are if I actually fought them. And another question comes up. Oh, I guess I could come out here. Um, there's a save point if I wanted to take it. I'm kind of surprised by how generous they are. What are these? This is one of the pig's vehicles. 
It's probably best not to not touch it. I imagine what would happen if I did, I'll get blasted. But, ooh, some gifts. Got a chick banana. I should probably check what those do. And nut bread, of course. Um, let's see what those bananas are. The chick banana increases deep. Oh, bandana! Oh, I cannot read. Okay. The bandana. Giving us more defense, which is going to be pretty helpful, I would imagine. And, oh, there's all those presents over there. I can't get them. <laughs> Let me just ask myself a question really quick. How strong are these guys? We snuck up on a huge pill bug. It's huge! Well, he's dead. And it doesn't really matter, to be honest. And now we're level 9. Sweet. And we left the present. We got some nut bread. I will take it. Because nut bread is the best bread, I suppose. Uh, and here we got a running bomb. So we are... What in the world? A gooey goo and its cohorts. Okay. Uh, what how... Okay, let's hit all enemies. I guess I could do that. They don't die. And they don't hurt that much back to me. Which is really not... Hello? Okay, well, at least I could defeat one of them easily. Thanks to the powers of... You know... The running bomb. <laughs> Tried to split. Thank goodness. Please die. Facade. Please... Just die. Thank you. How much experience do we get from those? That's a lot of experience. And now we're immediately level 10. And we get a mosquito charm. Okay. Um, is that an equip? It is. Oh, I had a flea charm. And I never put it on. I wonder how helpful that would have been if I uh, actually equipped that. And here, though... Get ourselves a bug spray. So I assume the bug spray is good for bugs. And just to test my theory of how obvious that sounds, it, yep, <laughs> instantly gone, just like bug spray would actually do to real bugs. So I'm guessing that's a dead end. And seemingly the game wants me to do that. So I guess we're going to go up this way then. Where are we? To the south is of the cemetery is a village. There's a place called the Yado Inn, where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. Alright, well, at least you hadn't shocked me yet. Um, okay, so we are back in the general area again. So, as you can see, we're in the cemetery. And we have the zombies. Oh, boy. Don't really want to get into those guys, because that just sounds bad. But let's get on the heck out of here. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. I... Didn't th this just happen before, right? When we were playing as Duster. Come on, little monkey, we should be off. This did happen before! Except now we're in the perspective of the monkey. And now it makes sense. He didn't want to go, dude. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we never had it in Tasmania before. But apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs. And then he asked me in tears if I trained him for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm going to hide it in this well here. Duster, the secret is just between you and me. <laughs> Facade. Facade gave him the money, didn't he? Facade. Did he give them the money? Oh my god, we stole it. But you put it... Okay. 
I was gonna say, did we steal it? Because it was mentioning how he lost it at the end of chapter two. Oh, and it's closed. Everything's closed. So the auto end is where we have to go, right? Can I talk to people? This is Tasmania Village. Everyone is nice. I know. How much is the lodging fee, my good man? Oh, uh, fee? There is no how much here. Please feel free to stay tonight. Oh, I see. Still, it's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I kindly accept your offer. I suppose I could make a good doorstop. Or I could make a good doorstop. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you very much. Come, little salsa. Where is your thank you? E, how cute! Well then, if you excuse us, come, little salsa. Let's go to a room, shall we? <sighs> Facade. And he gave them the money. That's definitely money, my dude. I don't want to go in there. <sighs> You're going to work hard for me starting tomorrow. Now go to sleep. I don't want to. I know it's gonna happen. And I don't even know how we're even sleeping. Based on the current situation. What is going on? And where's Facade going? It's very quiet. It's too quiet. No music, no nothing. Uh. You revive the Oso Castle? Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everyone thinks progressing smoothly here. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw them? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp. I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay, I'll leave it in your hands. Stay alert! <gasps> yep. He did steal the money, like I expected. Uh, do I just go back in the room so I don't get caught, or... Yeah, sure enough. I'm going right to sleep. Stupid monkey. I told you to sleep. I guess you didn't listen to me, did you? Then it's punishment time. But I... <sighs> oh my goodness. Now go to sleep. I I can't. I <sighs> Like look at this. We watch our girlfriend just get taken away and then we get shocked at every corner. It's so easy to just be like, "Ah, oh, I just mm -hmm. You can't do anything, though. Like, it just feels so bad for him. I really hope he, get, he gets what's coming to him later, because I... Ugh, it's just, it just makes my blood boil, you know? And having to rewatch it is... Oh, come on, dude. How long are you gonna sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep your doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job, and I'll set you free. And I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heap of punishment. Got that? I don't know what he's talking about. But I'm going to end things off here.
next time on Mother 3, I guess we're gonna go and uh, please the villagers for our good Master Facade, who's a very kind fellow. <sighs> I can't even joke about that, even if I wanted to. On that note, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Mother 3 Blind. I will see you guys then.